we're gonna take the transom and we're gonna move it back uh, so that the whole deck can go to the very back of the pontoons. I'll get rid of this cutout. It'll make everything more cohesive with the layout that we're doing. These three cross members are already tied into these uh, the transom. So I'm just gonna unbolt these three, slide them all back. They're all in the same spacing. What we'll do is we'll get this all lined up we'll get it bolted back in and then we've got that transom in the place where we want it so that we can have that full back walk around deck this will be installed we'll drill through the top so we can get bolts on it and this will be installed in place of that last cross member we are ready now we've got the deck boards all down and we're gonna lay this giant roll this beautiful tan woven vinyl this is going on got 28 feet of beautiful tan woven vinyl flooring down we'll let this cure up about 24 48 hours and then we start rebuilding so what we've done here on these uprights for the upper deck we needed to raise it two inches at the boat owner's height he was gonna hit his head uh, if he wasn't careful. So we raised it two inches. That's uh, one eighth inch, two inch by one inch C-channel. And then to reinforce it, make it even heavier duty, we did weld the inside bend. And then this will get bolted through with 5 16 hardware. And on the bottom, we're gonna do a plate that's gonna actually bolt through. It'll fit in like this, and the bottom side under the deck, we'll have a nice big backing plate that'll sandwich the plywood in. Believe it or not, this was just fender washers through, uh, bolts through wood, with big fender washers on the bottom side. So we're gonna make this last forever. Uh, hopefully, in the next couple days here, we will have this decked, vinyled, bolted together, and up on the boat. We're getting there. But these are done. Our next part is moving on to getting our deck boards on the frame for the upper deck. And then we should get our vinyl on tomorrow and put this baby up on the boat. Railings are starting to go on the boat so we can get a feel for where everything's gonna sit. We have to leave this middle part open because we're gonna lift this 10 foot long by almost eight foot wide upper deck on there with the forklift. We are waiting for the vinyl for the upper deck, so figured might as well replace. We replace the wood on the transom. That's three sheets of three quarter inch. Big beefy transom on there, aluminum cap, but that's gonna last forever. What makes this motor special, and they call it a command thrust, is it has a 90 horsepower gear case on it. So a huge lower unit allows you to spin a 14 inch diameter prop, maybe bigger. I'm not sure the exact specs on that, but gives you a reduced gear ratio. So kind of like shifting down your car slightly, more torque, and on this big 28 foot boat with the double decker, we need all that we can get for torque, for coming in and out of the dock, controlling, steering. This is the right motor without breaking the bank and getting great performance, quiet, fuel efficient. This is gonna be an awesome motor on this boat. wrap this episode up with a quick walkthrough of what is done so far obviously double decker top deck is back on railings are all on and bolted in furniture in the front portion is all screwed down bolted together those beige sides all the way down we had originally planned to do a stern entry over here on the corner didn't work with the way the supports were and everything so we still have the stern entry, we did a center walk through a nice big wide door. We were able to move the ladder over 
to make sure that door has nice clear access. Made a little bottom step. Just a two by two with a welded cap on the end. Next, moving on to the console, electrical, and getting this back bar set up because this whole back between these uprights is gonna be a nice teak top bar. And we'll build an enclosure in the back here for this gas tank on the other side for the batteries. That's where we're at. Let's get this baby wrapped up.